In this problem, we're told that the moon orbits the Earth at an average distance of 3.84 times 10 to the fifth kilometers, and one orbit takes 27.3 days. Find the speed of the moon in kilometers per hour. Okay, well the speed is going to be distance over time, and we know the distance is one lap, and the time is 27.3 days. So one lap will be the circumference of the orbit, and we're given here the radius of the orbit. So the circumference is 2 pi times the radius. So that's 2 pi times 3.84 times 10 to the fifth kilometers. Now look here, I'm asked to find the speed in kilometers per hour, and I've got my distance here in kilometers, so let's put the time in here in hours. So instead of 27.3 days, let's do 27.3 times 24. It will be that many hours. So that's not too hard to set up, and we get, uh, we multiply and divide, and we get 3,680 kilometers per hour. Then we're told to find the angular speed, how much rotation there is in a given amount of time. And what we're talking about here is the Earth and the Moon, and as the Moon moves, it sweeps through a certain angle. We want to know how much angle in a given amount of time, the angular speed of the Moon in its orbit around the Earth. And angular speed we typically call omega, and that's how much angle per time. And I know that the rotation is one entire rotation, one trip around, per 27.3 days. So watch this, one trip around is 2 pi radians. But I want to get radians per second, so instead of putting in the time down here as 27.3 days, I'm going to put that in in seconds. So that's going to be 27.3, that's the, the number of days, times 24 will give me the number of hours, and then multiply by 3600, and that will give me the number of seconds. And then I multiply and divide, and you can see I'm going to have radians per second. And this works out to 2.66 times 10 to the negative 6 radians per second. So that's an incredibly tiny angle per second, which makes sense, right? It takes the moon about a month to go around, so you'd have a really small number of radians per second, very, very small angle in one second. So it's going to be a more reasonable unit for, for this particular problem to find the answer in degrees per day. So let's do that also. The angle here, theta over time, in degrees per day. So, well, one rotation is 360 degrees, and it does that in the time of 27.3 days, so you see that will give me, right there, degrees per day. So I just divide, 360 divided by 27.3 comes out to 13.2 degrees per day. So if you're, if you're standing on the Earth, and you're looking at the moon up in the sky, and the moon's moving, and say, say you're standing here. Okay, one day later, you've rotated through one lap on the Earth. You're back in the same position. After one day, the moon will have moved to a new position in the sky, and it will have moved through, through, through an angle of 13.2 degrees right there in its orbit. and moving that many degrees per day, it makes one complete orbit in 27.3 days.